What's going on, y'all? Uh, so Melodyne 5 was just released, and I went ahead and updated to it because I was really impressed with the features that i seen shown off by Celimony. And I'm going to show you a few of those new features in Studio One, uh, starting with this uh, piano track here. So if you, with the new Melodyne 5, the chord tracks here, or the chord track in Studio One, if it can now be copied to Melodyne's chord track. And if you change one in here in the Court Track Studio One, it's going to change in Melodyne and follow in sync as well. Uh, to do that under Melodyne, if you go to Edit, Chords and Keys, and you have the option to use DAW Chord. So that's going to use the chords that Studio One found. Uh, so this is a recording I did with uh, Simone Curry. Uh, we're going to look at this uh, vocal here for this. Next example, which is uh, the syllabus uh, control. So I'm going to play this pass here, and you'll hear uh, that the vocal is a little syllabus, and we'll try to deal with that using uh, the new syllabus tools in Melodyne 5. I've got needs just like you, and if the conversation, good vibrations through and through. Come on, baby, won't you show some class? Why wow, we gotta move so fast? We don't have to take off. So you can hear we got some S's poking out here. So in Melodon 5, you've got the option here. Nope, where is it? Here we go. Sylvan Balance Tool. So these, like here, let me see if I can zoom in a little more. You can see what this uh, syllabus looks like in Melodon 5. Here it is. These, uh, these blobs that have all the lines in them, that is syllabus. So I'm going to play it back here. I've got needs just like you. And if the conversation good vibrations through and through Come on baby, won't you show some class Why wow, we gotta move so fast We don't have baby yeah, Let's take that one there at the end Show some class Why wow, we gotta move so fast uh, This one right here So uh, with the syllabus tool selected That I just yeah there it is you can just click on it and I can bring the s down let's take a listen to that wow, we gotta move so fast. okay so that's a little too much let's bring it back some and actually let's undo get back to where we started with so, okay so zero percent so let's go down Let's try 20. Come on, baby, won't you show some class? Wow, we gotta move so fast. Okay. Let's, let's try 40. Baby, won't you show some class? Wow, we gotta move so fast. So I have to mess with this to see if there's a way to quickly audition what I'm doing versus uh, the original. Let me go down just a little bit more to about 50 there and hear what that sounds like. Show some class Why we gotta move so fast Yeah, that's sounding better to me. Let's uh, tackle this one here. Less. Less. Do that one at 40%. Come on, baby, won't you show some class? Wow, we gotta move so fast. So I think this new sediment tool combined with the de will really help those S's, especially the ones where you set the de and the de handles like 90% of it, but you still got a few S's that are really sticking out. I think this could really help there. Let's move on to this vocal part where I'm going to show you the 
some new features in the amplitude tool and really they got an amplitude macro now too which is really cool so this uh you got two sliders here make quiet notes louder and make louder notes quieter so this will help with the dynamics of the vocals i'm going to play this part here So listen to that good time, how it's kind of buried, it's a little low. Uh, we'll, we're going to look to change that with amplitude here. I'm going to play it one more time. Uh, listen to the very uh, last phrase, good time, how low it is. No, we don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. So with this uh, macro here, I can do multiple notes at once, but I'm not going to do that here. We're just going to focus on these, I think it's these three, let's see. To have a good time. Yeah, those. So the amplitude, let's find it here, there we go. So, and you can see here, right here it shows zero dB. I'm going to bring that up, let's say five dB. And see what that sounds like now. Have to take to have a good time. It's a little better. I think it could come up a little more. Let's try 8 dB. All right, let's hear that. All right, let's actually try to get this note up to the one before it because now we're really hearing it jump let's try that we don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time no. yeah so that's too much but you know we can back it down and really level it but really the, the point here of being able to change the amplitude like that of, of different notes really help the dynamics especially with the macro being able to change more than one notes at one time, and just to uh, quickly show you that, we just highlight those, pull that back up, and now by sliding that, it's gonna make all the quiet notes louder, which should be these last few here, but we can also make the loud notes quieter as well, as you can see them move there. So this is really gonna help your uh, compressor act more efficiently as well. So there's a few, of the new features in Melodyne 5. Really happy uh, with this update. Um, you can find out more at Celimony.com. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, the pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.